It's uh, good to see everyone out uh, here this morning. I'm Lee May, interim CEO here in DeKalb County. We have Commissioner uh, Larry Johnson here representing District 3. Uh, to my left, uh, we have immediately next to him uh, Chief of Police, uh, Chief Cedric Alexander. Uh, right next to him, we have our uh, Chief Operating Officer, Mr. Zach Williams, and then we have our Chief uh, James Conroy uh, from the Police Department. Um, I'm here today uh, to discuss the, uh, the rumors and innuendos that we've been hearing for weeks now regarding uh, our Chief of Police, uh, Cedric Alexander. Uh, as you all have heard, uh, the City of Rochester has been uh, courting him. Uh, they've been going very aggressively after him to bring him back to what he wants new as home uh, to be their Chief of Police. Uh, and that launched me to have some very uh, aggressive conversations with our chief of police, uh, police here in DeKalb County. Uh, I've been very satisfied with uh, with our chief's uh, work here. Uh, he projects leadership, uh, he develops leadership, and he's a stabilizing voice uh, here in DeKalb County. And more than anything, uh, my role in this uh, role as interim CEO, along with my colleagues on the board of commissioners, is to do simply that, and that is stabilize our community. Uh, stabilize our government, uh, project, a, uh, project a level of confidence uh, for the people and the taxpayers here in DeKalb County. Uh, so today I'm here uh, with my colleagues, uh, with the um, leadership uh, here in DeKalb County to uh, let you all know, let the public know uh, that our Chief of Police, uh, Dr. Cedric Alexander, uh, will be remaining here in DeKalb County. Uh, however, uh, I am uh, elevating him uh, to a new position, uh, to the position of Deputy Chief Operating Officer for, for Public Safety, which will give him an increase uh, in uh, responsibility and authority here, will raise him to a level of executive leadership here uh, under my leadership uh, here as interim CEO. He will oversee, supervise, and manage uh, the police department, of course, uh, fire and rescue, uh, 911, uh, emergency management, uh, and the medical uh, examiner's office. Uh, he be, will be leading our public safety uh, uh, apparatus here and will be guiding us into the future. Again, we need stability here in DeKalb County. Uh, with the leadership on the Board of Commissioners in partnership with myself, uh, we are working to uh, move our county in the right direction. Uh, that is exerting leadership uh, here uh, for the taxpayers of our county. And by Cedric Alexander remaining here, uh, that will continue the work that we are doing and moving our county uh, in the right direction. So again, I have uh, my uh, colleague here, uh, Commissioner Larry Johnson. I don't know if you want to make uh, any statements or anything. Uh, if, if not, go ahead and come on. Okay. I don't know whose phone this is. But... Just to say uh, our, our chief, uh, Dr. Alexander, is a great example of what we need to be doing. Uh, he has come in as a trailblazer who has brought some innovation and some stability to our, our, our police department. So I'm just elated that he is staying. I think we need this. Our, the community likes him. Uh, the, the officers love him. Uh, I think this is an opportunity for us to, uh, to continue to, to, to right the ship and make sure that we have a, a safe uh, DeKalb County. So thank you, uh, Interim, for what you've done continue up the good work and uh, we appreciate it thank you and, and I want, really want to highlight the fact that uh, Commissioner Johnson is here uh, uh, Dr. Alexander has the full support of the Board of Commissioners which is critical uh, to have the full governing authority uh, in support uh, of our leadership uh, here and so without further ado I'm going to bring up Chief Alexander to make a few comments and then I'll be entertaining uh, any questions uh, beyond that Chief Alexander thank you sir Thank you, Mr. May, and uh, good morning to everyone as well, too, and thank you as well to uh, uh, Commissioner. So uh, the opportunity that's been presented here uh, to me today is one I can say is uh, uh, very much uh, welcome by me and one in which I will continue to ensure this community, as I have in the past, is that we're going to move forward with public safety. Uh, we're going to do everything within our power and with everything within our control make sure that we maintain and work and have a safety community here in DeKalb. And we all understand what the challenges are. And in spite of those challenges, uh, for the last number of months, we have seen some 
some uh, progression, even though we have much work to do uh, in this community as it relates to fighting crime. And, but just as importantly, if not more importantly, making our men and women in public safety uh, feel uh, as if they are important to us, and they are, because we cannot carry out the function that we do every day as, as public servants uh, without the men and women who are out there doing the job in police and fire and throughout the whole public safety community uh, feeling like they're important to us. Uh, and they're certainly important to me, as they are Mr. May. And we're going to continue to move forward. We're going to do some great things together. We have some uh, 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 further discussions myself and Mr. May are going to have going forward as to how we continue to enhance our public safety in this community because who we are is certainly rooted in how well we all feel safe in this community. And it's a, and it's a job for all of us, not just for police, but for community as well too. And even for those of you that are in the print and technical media, we all have a responsibility to make sure that we're working together and collaboratively uh, to keep this community safe. And it's in the things that we do and the way that we report the things that we're doing that are so critically important that the general public get a real sense and understanding the importance of public safety in this community. As I committed uh, months ago, and I will commit again today, uh, is that I will remain in public safety, overall public safety, in which I am being held accountable for, is going to remain open and transparent to this community and also to the media. And if we make mistakes, we're going to own those mistakes. And the things that we do well, we're going to stand by those things as well, too. Because the men and women that go out and do this work every day in police and fire, they understand the risk that they take. And we understand it. But they truly are our boots on the ground. They're truly the folks that make a difference out there when we're asleep. And they're awake, waiting for that bell to go off. So we're going to continue to do the great work that uh, has been has been implemented here and continue to build trust in this community. And, uh, and I think trust has began to take place. But as we trust and as that community continues to trust us, it becomes more important that we don't lose that trust. And we're going to work hard and do everything that we can, myself, uh, along with Mr. May and all of us, uh, going to make sure that we're going to do everything, everything, uh, to be open, forthright, and keep this community safe. Let me also state uh, today that I'm also naming um, Mr. Ch uh, James Conroy to be to the acting uh, chief of police position. So he will be in the acting uh, police uh, chief of police position. He has been with the Cab County for 20 plus years, uh, and he's been doing a, a phenomenal role uh, in in his roles in, in various leadership positions. Uh, here in DeKalb County, and I'm confident of his leadership and being able to guide in partnership with uh, Dr. Alexander of the police department and moving us in the right direction.